I'm not hanging this with metal wedges, I just have wooden wedges. So when you use wooden wedges, you have to sort of do this a little bit differently. <laughs> When you put wedges in an axe head, remember the top of the axe head is wider than the bottom, so basically you're making the top of the handle wider than the bottom, so that it won't come off. And normally you put one wedge the length of this, and then you put a metal wedge in, metal wedge in perpendicular to push, the, to push the handle from front to back. Right, so you got one wedge pushing out this way, and then a metal wedge pushing it out that way. I don't have a metal wedge, so I have to put a wooden wedge in the middle, which means I have to cut a kerf, right? You can see there's a slot cut the length of this. This is an axe handle I bought, right? You can buy these for five, you know, if you see these on sale anywhere, under $10, buy a bunch of them, right? Um, anyway, so I just have to put another slot the other way. And not in the middle, a little bit closer to the back, basically where it's at its widest. That's where you want to put that. I'm just going to use a silky saw for that. Perfectly fine. Well, that's a good spot. Actually shorten this up somewhat. Right about there. Just going by eye. And your instinct is that you're weakening this thing, but you're really not because you're going to glue it all together. It's all going to be fine. All right. All right. So now I've cut that, cut that both ways. And I'm ready to mount my head. I think I pound this down, but you can see it's not perfectly straight. It's a bit, it's angled this way a bit, right? So I'm just going to tap on the back of this. A piece of wood. I mean, some purists might say I'm doing something wrong, but uh, I don't care. This works perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. That looks good to me. All right, now it's time to start in with the wedges. All right, we start with the front to back wedge first. All right, put a little glue on there. Right. This is a uh, point of no return. All right, that's good. All right, got plenty of glue rubbed into both pieces. Put them in their positions, and we start to work. All right, they will not go in any more than that. They are in. <laughs> All right, and it seemed like you can see from looking at this, the back piece wanted to go in. All right, the back piece went in further than the front piece. That's fine. I mean, that's what you're doing with the wedge. You're, you're filling up the space inside the axe head with the wedge. So it's fine if one goes more than the other. Right? Doesn't mean anything. Just means that needed to go more. <laughs> okay? Now the final thing to do is to cut this off. And don't cut it off flush. Leave a little bit there. Right? So, you know, that little bit hanging off the end, a little bit of wood hanging off the end, will gather water, humidity, and so on, and keep the end wider than the axe head, especially with no metal wedges in there. Alright, so it's no big deal to, to take that off. Just stick her in the vise. Uh, 
Now, once you got that off, you could just take a little sandpaper, smooth that out a bit. And there, there we go. I don't know how well you can see that. All the, the one, two, three, three wedge technique. If a bigger X, you use um, uh, more wedges. <laughs> You'd use two going this way and uh, three going the other way. Use five wedges with a bigger axe if you're doing it this wooden wedge technique. But you see how neatly those are all fit in there, right? And of course, the top of the axe is wider than the bottom. So there shouldn't be any slippage, right? This should hold really well. <laughs>